Oh, good morning, world. Oh, I gotta see how much weight I've lost. Come on, come on, I've had to at least lost four pounds. What? No. No, no, that's not right. Let's try this again. What the f My metabolism's broken. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now, before we get into this video, you know I have to sell it a little bit and I gotta ask you guys that if you haven't already, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos for me to come and I really appreciate it. We're trying to grow here. We're trying to get some more faces in the video so I would really appreciate it. That aside, you are here because you want to know how to boost your metabolism naturally. Well, it's great that you're looking into this because 70% of all the calories that you burn in a day comes from your basal metabolic rate. So boosting your metabolism, that is going to lead to an increase in the majority of the calories that you burn in a day. Now, before I start any of this, I need to let you guys know that the majority of your metabolism is strictly genetic and is out of your control. But there are some ways that you can boost them, but it's not gonna change your metabolism in its entirety. So without any further ado, let's start off with the first way that you can boost your metabolism naturally. So coming in at number one, we have caffeine. If you've seen any fat burning supplements, the main ingredients in them that give them the fat burning effect is straightforward caffeine. Now, caffeine itself is not what helps you burn fat or boost your metabolism, but it's what caffeine can help you do that aids in this effect. Caffeine works by blocking adenosine and increases the release of dopamine and norepinephrine. Now, I probably just butchered that word, but forgive me for that. The release of these neurotransmitters make you feel more energized and awake, which allows you to then move more, fidget more, and overall unconsciously burn more calories throughout the day, which then of course, in turn, aids in that metabolism boosting effect. So now let's move on to the second way that you can naturally boost your metabolism. What the hell is this kid doing? Yo. Yo. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm straight. What are you doing on the ground? I'm looking for ants. Why? Because you gotta get your protein in, man. Oh. So the second way that you can naturally boost your metabolism is by eating more protein. By eating more food itself, your body burns more calories. This is called the thermic effect of food or the extra calories required to digest, absorb, and process the nutrients in your meal. Protein causes the largest rise in the thermic effect of food as it takes the most energy and effort for your body to digest. Protein increases your metabolic rate by 15 to 30% compared to the five to 10% for carbs and the zero to 3% for fat. So by just allocating more of your daily calories into protein, you will burn more energy per day by consuming the exact same amount of calories. All right, so let's move on to the third way that you can naturally boost your metabolism. So coming in at number three, we have drink cold water. Now, other than the abundance of different health benefits that drinking water brings, 
It has also been proven to temporarily speed up your metabolism. Studies have shown that drinking 500 milliliters of water can increase your resting metabolic rate by 10 to 30% for about an hour. This can relate back to the previous tip we talked about in that it takes energy for your body to process water. Drinking cold water over room temperature water has been shown to even further increase the metabolism. This is because your body uses more energy to heat up the water to your body temperature. Now we all know that we should be drinking enough water anyways, but this is just another excuse of why we should do so. All right, so let's move on to the fourth way that you can naturally boost your metabolism. Hey bro. Hey. What's up? Your mom. What? Your mom. Hey man, you tired? No, why? Cause it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> So coming in at number four, we have getting enough sleep. So clearly when you don't sleep enough, you feel more tired throughout the day and just experience less overall energy levels. This low amount of energy causes your heart rate to drop, which heart rate is directly associated with a slower metabolism. Being tired will make you move less and your NEAT, also known as your non-exercise activity thermogenesis to lower, which your NEAT can make up between 100 to 700 calories of what you burn per day. So by having a lower NEAT due to a lack of sleep, you can burn between 100 to 700 calories less per day, which is a lot. Now, I'm not telling you to just sleep all day because that's gonna do the opposite as well. But if you can just focus on getting your seven to eight hours per day, I guarantee you, you not only just see benefits in your energy levels, but also in the amount of food that you can consume every single day. So that was number four. Now let's move on to the last tip that I have for you guys today of how you can naturally boost your metabolism. What is that noise? What the? Hello? What the f is that? So last but not least, because I think this is one of the most important things, eating enough calories. Too many people, when they're trying to lose weight, they drastically cut their calories. This is one of the worst things that you can do for your metabolism. Your body is extremely intelligent, unlike me, and is able to adapt to situations to survive. When you consume too little calories, your metabolism begins to adapt. This causes your BMR or your basal metabolic rate and the amount of calories that you need each day to maintain or to lose weight to drop. Low calorie diets can be seen to decrease the amount of calories the body needs per day by 23%. That means if your body needs around 2000 calories to maintain its weight, if you drop your calories too low, it could adapt to make your maintenance calories closer to only 1500. So at that point, if you wanted to lose a pound a week, you'd have to eat a thousand calories or less, which nobody can do and that is not sustainable at all. So you're better off eating more calories and making adjustments to your calories slowly to ensure that your metabolism does not fall to those low levels and stays at its peak pace. So that is five ways that you can naturally boost your metabolism. Now, there are so many other ways that help in boosting the metabolism that I think maybe even be more important, such as gaining more muscle mass, doing high intensity workouts, but these are just things that you can implement into your lifestyle right now to help naturally boost your metabolism and just eat more food because who doesn't love eating food? We all want to eat as much food as we can and not get fat, right? So that's enough of me for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and drop a comment down below. If there's any video ideas you guys want to see in the future, what you liked about this video, what you didn't like about this video, what you hate about my haircut, whatever you got to do, I'm open for it. I appreciate everyone that stops in and watch these videos, and I really like talking to everyone in the comments as well. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Damn, I really can't believe I just did all that with no pants on.